All right, so I'm going to start with the grass, and I'm kind of afraid I don't have enough. I've only got that much. It's about a half a bottle, and I'm hoping it'll be enough to cover this. I just need to cover, uh, of course, the green parts. The felt looks cool, but it just looks like felt. It looks very fake, and not that this will look much better, but I mean, I think it's going to look much better, but I mean... It's going to look so much better than the felt, but, you know, it, it ain't going to be like actual blades of grass, which would be kind of cool. And I know they make something that looks more like little blades of grass, but I'm just going to go with this because I've got it. And it does show it being used as grass in these little pictures and stuff, and I think it's going to look really good. Um, now, I've got to show you something that my niece did. She took a hundred i think 120 babies and she hid those around the house and my job is to find all 120 babies so if you check out right here here's what they look like this is one of the babies that she hid through the house and there's 120 of these and i have to find them all so i just was sitting here one day you know, looking at this, working on it, and then I saw that little baby sit sitting there, and then that was so funny, and not only that, but let me get the light, right back here in the Chocolate River, she's got a little brown baby, so that was just so funny, I mean, I got so tickled when I found those, and I just had to point that out, and I, I thought I'm going to leave those there until the next video, so I can show people and I've not looked up here in the bubble gum, uh, bubble gum tree yet, but I don't think there's one in there. But, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. She said I'll be finding babies for like the next year. So to get started, um, I'm going to just use Mod Podge. And I'm just going to paint that on and then just sprinkle this stuff on there. And so it's just pretty simple. Nothing special, nothing fancy. But I'm just going to kind of get an idea. I don't know if I should water it down or if that will be enough. I don't think, I don't know, I think watering it down would make it less sticky. I mean, I want it to hold pretty good. And I hope I don't run out of the Mod Podge and I hope I don't run out of the grass either. But I'm just going to do this much right here and see how well that holds. Because I don't know if that's sticky enough. It's like that felt is soaking that up so much. I may, I may need something thicker, actually, like tacky glue. This is definitely... I don't like how that feels. I just feel like there's not much there for this to hold on to I just already don't like it and I don't want to waste it I'm just going to go ahead and get tacky glue I think that would be so much better because I can just tell the way that's soaking that in it's going into this more than it's going to stay right here where it's thick thick it will uh hold pretty good but I don't know again I think it's just going to soak it up too much so I'm going to uh, switch over and do the tacky glue Okay, so I've switched over to the tacky glue, and it's a lot thicker. It doesn't soak into the felt, and I've had my bottle sitting upright, so it's not to the bottom quick enough, but I'm just going to let you see kind of how I'm doing it. Uh-oh, now I'm just making a mess of it. See, I get awkward when I'm trying to film it. I was doing this so pretty and clean till I get a camera in front of me. But you can see how much thicker that is. And I'm just smearing it with the brush. And then I just sprinkle it on there. So... The tacky glue is way better for this than the Mod Podge. And let me do this real fast. I took this box over here 
and I've kind of smashed it down just to make sure it gets pressed into the glue. Uh, and I'll do that here in just a second. There's some areas where I'm not worried about it getting too much because I'm going to put some plants in here that will, uh, you know, fill in more. I kind of want a little bit more right here in this bottom. I'm about out of glue. I'm going to have to make a glue trip, like, take a trip to buy some more supplies because I'm running low on some stuff. And this bottle's like halfway full. I don't know why it's being such a pain to get to the tip of it. All right, now I just want to make sure I get it pretty heavy around the edge. All right, that's good enough. Now, just pour it on there. And I'll tilt this over and like knock the little bits off that ain't really sticking later. But I put it on pretty heavy. And actually I can already tell I'm gonna have way more than I need. You know, I was thinking I wouldn't have enough but I've got way, way more. And then I'm just taking that box and I'm just kind of pressing it down, just tapping it down. Not too hard because you'll make the glue come through it. Now, it's just easy to do it with this box because it won't stick to the box. But if I used my hands, it would stick to my hands a little bit. And I'm just trying to be clean about it because, you know, this stuff makes such an awful mess. And then I went all the way over, just tamping it down. So I'm just going to do that and see it don't even stick to the box at all. So I just thought that was a much cleaner way. Sometimes I used to take like a dry brush and do it also in like little tight areas. But the box does pretty good. And then that gets up in the brush. See, that gets down in those bristles, and then that's a pain to clean out. But anyways, I'll finish this up, and then we'll start adding some plants to it. Now, oh, well, wait a minute. Before I do, there's like little areas over here, like right along the edge, where I'm going to do this same thing, because there should be just little bits of grass kind of right along the edge. So I'm just going to put a little bit over here in spots, but I'm going to bring my magazines out and look at the pictures to see where I may need a little bit over in this area. All right, so I've dumped that out and I am using the brush to kind of knock it where I want it to go. And also, I'm glad the felt is under here because it's green. And well, you could even paint it. You just, if you're gonna put this down, you do want to paint your base green or whatever color uh, or, you know, you just want it to be green because I have done this before uh, where I've not put anything under it like a color and you will see like uh, the wood through it or whatever you're using for your floor or the ground. So having that green base color under there is going to really help when I knock all this uh, excess off here. So that I mean I just love how this looks. It looks so much better uh, and more real than what the felt does but um, the felt is still coming in handy just so it helps that stick to it and to give it a base coat. So I've brought this outside and I am covering the chocolate river with this fabric because I don't want to spray the fabric. But what I think I'm going to do, which I don't know if it's going to be a mistake or not, but I'm going to spray the grass with spray Mod Podge just hoping that it won't be so flaky and maybe it'll just sort of help stick it to the diorama better. Um, but it looks really good as you can see, but I'm just gonna try to spray it. So I've just made sure I've covered that chocolate river because I don't wanna spray the, uh, you know, that resin cause it'll, I know it won't look good on there. So I've just tried to, you know, cover where I don't want this to get. 
let's do it right back here on this back corner. That way if I hate it, I won't have to do the front of it. And of course I pick a windy day to do this, but I think it's going to do good. I think that's just going to help that grass stay on there better. And let's see, back on this side. Well, wait, I think I'll try to turn this. All right, so because of the direction of the wind, I'm just a little freaked out by that right there. Just make sure that rivers covered good because that's going to look terrible if it gets on the that shiny resin and it's a good warm day to do this you can see the wind blowing that like it's it's a good thing i turned it this direction And also, this stuff smells so strong. I did spray some of this inside the house once, and it was terrible. So I think that's enough. I'm going to let that dry. And let me uncover the river. And I've got this little duster that works really good for just knocking that off of there. So there's what it looks like. That looks so good. Now we're going to take it back in in a little bit and put some little plants coming up out of here. And just look how good that river looks. It looks like real liquid. And I, I you can see I've put some grass over there where the Oompa Loompas will be. Um, so anyways, I'll let this dry a little bit and then we'll take it back inside. Back inside, this is the mess that I have to deal with. I'm going to have to clean this up now. Um, and if if I didn't have to save it or want to save it, I would just take the vacuum cleaner and suck it up. But I'm going to have to do it the aggravating way of just, you know, raking it back into this somehow and getting this cleaned up. So while that thing's outside drying, I'll work on this. Now comes the fun part. Now, this is where I have the most fun. I am a decorator and I like to decorate things. It don't matter what it is. Uh, decorating a house, decorating a miniature house, uh, you know, just coming up with designing stuff. That's my favorite part to do. So I've got this little plant, this potted plant that I found at a thrift shop. And I'm just going to take these and just cut them off and just stick them around. Because if you look at the set, there are lots of plants just growing around. And I'm just going to kind of design it how I want to. Um, just kind of roughly, you know, just stick them wherever. Just they look like they'd be natural growing. So just doing that, taking each little plant off of here. And I, what I love about this is there's such a variety of plants growing. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of all these little pieces but I'm just going to stick them around like that until I get it full. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to glue them. I'm just kind of getting an idea of what it's going to look like. But I kind of will look at the pictures and uh, see what I think looks the best. Um, like this one. I don't know. That leaf is kind of bigger. I don't really like that leaf. I just want to use these that look kind of like what's really in the movie so i'm just going to keep clipping these off and doing this and then we're going to pull out some mushrooms and some other things to decorate around here 
So I've decided that it's like almost impossible to poke these through the grass with that felt being there. So I've just been taking an ice pick and punching a hole in the ground and then just gluing the flowers or the little plants into that little hole. And that ice pick just makes it much easier to do this. But you still got to be kind of careful. Kind of helps if you twist it a little bit. And it's just looking so good. So let me pull this picture up for you real quick. Let me find a good one. Uh, all right. See how busy it is. See all the plants that are around the edge. I've got to really fill it up around the edge of the where it goes off into the river. And then we've got all these little gumballs that are laying around, which you'll see uh, in a little bit what I'm going to use for that. Now, one thing I'm not going to do today are the lollipops, which we can come back in and add those. But to, before I finish up the video, I do want to do the plants, the bubble gum balls, and the mushrooms. And then maybe in the next video, we'll work on this candy cane tree and the lollipops. So this is where I'm at, and I think I'm getting it pretty full for what I want it to be. I don't want it too crowded because it's a small space and I'm gonna have five characters standing in here. I'm gonna have another tree. Uh, I'm gonna have the mushrooms, um, you know, and the bubble gum balls. I'm gonna have quite a bit more going on, so I don't wanna go too over the top. I'm gonna do just a little bit more here and then I'm gonna call it quits, but I am going to flip it and do some on the back side. So I'll do that and then we'll bring out the mushrooms and stuff. All right, so let's look at these little bubble gum balls again. Uh, and I just kind of remember how those look. And of course, the mushrooms. Now, these mushrooms have a more flat top. Some of mine will have a flat top. Uh, and then some of them won't. But uh, I think I've got enough greenery to do. So let me get in my little box here and see what I've got. I have these gum drops that I thought I would use, but I don't really want to use those. But I do like that fern, because I noticed there's a lot of ferns in the Willy Wonka chocolate room. So I'll probably cut the little uh, pit, uh, little pieces off of that to use that, because I forgot that was in this box. But here, let me uh, get that picture back up real quick. Uh, let's see. Where did it go? Okay, so there's the balls, and here's what I'm going to use. I mean, that is just absolutely a dead ringer for that. And that's going, that's actually just like a little paddle ball. Uh, and then some of them that I'm going to use are bouncy balls, and some of them aren't as close looking like what's in the movie but they're close enough i mean this one right here is perfect and i actually like the way this looks that's a marble i'm gonna stick that on there somewhere and i think let me see here's another good one and that one i think i'm gonna use all these because they all look pretty good and then here's my mushrooms so let's get these out and then we'll place them and i don't think I think I'll just do that today and then we'll uh, work on some other stuff next time. I've got this big mess again, which it may not look that bad on camera, but it's just like this little old uh, moss. I did decide to use some moss. And so here's what it's looking like. And let me just kind of lay these around. I noticed there's a lot up around the river. So I'll just glue those in place. And there's a mushroom. I'll have to put a little stick in there to have something for that to stand up good with. 
but that's basically what it's going to look like so let me just throw all this together now i did like i said i did some on the back and i'm going to put some of these on the back as well um, but let me do that and we'll check it out and here's what it looks like from the back i thought i'd show it from the back real quick before i flip it around that looks pretty cute now i'm trying to decide um i think i'm kind of done for the day um i don't know what else it needs i don't want to go this is cute but i just don't think it needs anything else or it's going to get a little gaudy if it ain't already gaudy but you know if you look at the movie look at the set there was a lot going on so it, it's probably not really gaudy but i just don't want to go it probably can be if I keep going with it. So I think it's good as it is. I think the back might be done. I still kind of want to add... I still kind of want to do something here. Uh, and then again, I am going to put a little plaque back here that says Willy Wonka later. That'll be like the finishing touch, the last little thing I do. So let me flip this around and let's we'll see the front of it. Here's how the front looks, and it looks really cute. I think the balls are so perfect. The mushroom looks cute. Uh, now, of course, our bubblegum tree has its plastic on there. When I do the final video, I'll, of course, take that off. Uh, that is mainly just to keep dust off of it. Um, I'm going to do the light. I just don't have the best lighting in here, but it, it looks pretty well. It looks pretty good, so... This is what I've done today. This is all I've got for now. Um, and again, next time I work on this, we'll work on the bubblegum, or not the bubblegum, the candy cane tree. And I've got to make those little tiny daffodil cups that he drinks from. I'm not sure if I want to just find tiny little daffodils or make them out of clay. I'm not sure. I, I'm kind of stuck on that right now. So I'm trying to figure out what to use for that. Uh, I am going to crank it up a little. I think it's looking really, really good. Uh, I can't wait to get like, uh, you know, more pictures and stuff. Now, I do have some plants up here. I didn't really talk about that much. But if you look at the movie, there's some growing up here. Now, there are flowers, like little yellow flowers and stuff. I do need to come up with some more tiny miniature flowers. But so far, I mean, this right down here. Is just my favorite part. I just love that. So, anyways, thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time. Alright, so let's back up a little bit. I, before going to do this video, I have came in here and decided that I do want a lot more greenery. So, I have really crammed it full. Like, I really wanted to bush it out back here. So, I have gone crazy, making it like almost a jungle. And this is how it looks now now this is looking at it from the back and we'll get a better look in the next video that i work on this but i just wanted to go ahead and get that out there and show that i did add quite a bit more because after i see it and after looking at more pictures of the movie set uh it did look pretty full so i just wanted to you know add more to it 